Hello from Pastor Ken. We're going to do Proverbs 15 today. Um, we're saying, Holy Spirit, come. One, two, three. Take a deep breath and refresh in the Holy Spirit. One, two, three. Holy Spirit, refresh. Refresh us, encourage us, lift us up, give us some energy. The Lord said, hey, why don't you have bebop, some bebop music from the 1950s. Uh, this song is called Webo City from an album called Bebop. It even has Fats Navarro playing. So, Holy Spirit wants to encourage you, bring your energy, lift you up, and uh, look at Proverbs 15. So, so far, we've had three Holy Spirit telling me what to do. Make a message. Number two, go to Proverbs 15 and read the Word of God. Number three, find some bebop music. I didn't know what kind of music I was looking for, but this is the right one. To encourage us and lift us up and to bring joy. One of my good friends says, let's have some jazz worship. Let's have a lot of energy with God. So this is for you, dedicated to the one we love. All right, so Proverbs 15 is really interesting. Actually, the one that we're dedicating to the one we love. Um, recently, um, I g gave her an answer to a question, and she didn't like it. She felt I was not very nice. and uh, She didn't know I had a bad headache with blood in my eye and all of that. And I told her I'm very, very sorry. But the proverb... Uh, verse 1 says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but harsh words stir up anger. Okay? So, um, we all are sensitive because of what people have done in our lives, and the Lord has to heal us. So, one, two, three, let's refresh. One, two, three. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Refresh us and encourage us, lift us up to you. And take away the pain and the brutality, people punching us, that make us harsh to one another. Because the fruit of the Spirit is be kind, be gentle. Okay, have a little self-control. So Lord, give us the self-control that we need today. Let us not just be, no need, no need, which comes to Christ as harsh. But say, you know... I don't really have to have this for my life. You don't have to give something to me. Or even to the children you, you're taking care of. No need! No need! That comes across harsh. You need to say, come on, let's do something special. Okay? So, the next one, the tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the math, mouth of the fool gushes folly. Um, it's not easy for us because we want to be not so harsh, but we end up uh, being harsh because the fool um, says things that are just not true or argumentative. You know, I learned a long time ago that I can't say, oh, I think I know better the Bible than you do. And let's argue about it. You know, I realize... The only way to get better and to help our friends is to say, let's refresh in the Holy Spirit. One, two, three. Help me refresh, Lord. Help me refresh. So, it's very difficult because the mouth of the wise builds up or at least gives legitimate, logical evidence to issues. But the fool will just say things that there's no tracking. You know, like somebody says, if you take a vaccine, then you're not a human anymore and you can't be saved and you're going to hell. I mean, <laughs> it may be true, but it also may be an illogical attack like every kind of vaccine that's ever been developed throughout the last 100 or 200 years. Think about how they developed the smallpox vaccine. Think about how they developed the polio vaccine. And many, many people would be against the vaccines. So it doesn't mean I'm for the vaccine or against it, but I took the vaccine because the wisdom the Lord gave me, he's, I felt in the, when I was praying, take the vaccine, protect yourself, not only from any kind of bad antibodies that are out there, but also 
that the government may later require you guys to have vaccine or they could, you know, do some bad things or take away your rights. So just take a little shot, you know, and one of my friends, well, I'm not sure if he died of the vaccine, but because they haven't reported it, but I know he got sick from the vaccine and he died a few days later of something, you know, but that's not logic. That's just hearing gossip and letting your mind go away. So we have to be careful with what we say. One more proverb and a little more jazz, okay? Da da da. Can you feel the energy? The Lord's giving you joy. Jazz worship's good. Still have to wait on the Holy Spirit and not just get to, pulled away into the bebop. Okay? One, how do you do that? One, two, three, refresh in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Show me and teach me all things. Make me a better person. Help control my tongue. Help when we give harsh words that we immediately either stop before we say them or we repent and we really apologize. Okay, last one. Verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. Okay? The Lord is watching us all the time. So when I was younger, I had this sense that, oh, I'm guilty, God's watching me, He's pointing the finger. And after a while, I had this realization, the Lord was with me all the time. So if you're in the middle of a situation where you're plotting or wanting to do something or you're lusting after somebody or um, you're saying, no matter what the Lord says or what the Bible says or what my friends say, I'm going to do what I want and what I need for my life. Those are just foolish things. We need to understand the Lord's watching us all the time and He's working on us to get closer to Him and also to protect us. Instead of a person, uh, you know, losing their leg, the Lord uh, might just give them a sprained ankle or something. The Lord's protecting us. He's watching us. He's have, bringing people in our lives to help us. And He's saying, I'm here with you. Even if you're in the middle of a sin, I'm there. I'm trying to help you to heal so you don't have to go the sinful ways. So wherever you are right now, remember that. The Lord has a great plan for you. He's encouraging you. And you're not alone. And how many times has the Lord spoken to us? Maybe six or seven times just in this eight Mary period. We love you and I'll let you end with a little jazz. Here's the b-ball. Hey, can you see? I don't know if you can see it or not. We love you. Thank you one more time. Refresh. Holy Spirit. Bye-bye. God's speaking to you right now. Receive his words. You know. Ha, 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 ha.